It's been a holiday here in Sweden, which started on Friday, the festival of midsummer, and on this, the shortest night of the year, the Swedish supporters will certainly not get much sleep if there's a victory to celebrate. Suspension's a problem for Sweden tonight. No Patrick Anderson in defence, no Stefan Schwarz, such a mainstay of the midfield. Bertie Votes was furious with Germany's first half humiliation against Holland. Manfred Bintz has paid the price for that. He's left out along with Fransek and Müller. The officials tonight all come from Italy with Tullio Lanese, the referee. Certainly there's room for improvement in Germany's game from what we've seen so far. Sweden have been much closer to their peak and you wonder if they can sustain such high standards. It did rain for most of the morning here in the capital, the worst weather of the tournament so far, but as you can see, the sun has come out. It's the best part of the day, and the football should make it even better still. That's a free kick given against Ericsson. Who indicates to referee Lanese, who of course officiates on the Riedler in club games and a number of uh, the other German players as well. Ericsson felt it was a dive, the referee thought otherwise. It's a free kick to Germany. We're in the 11th minute. Oh, and Hassler's put it the other side. Perfectly. A really wonderful free kick. Thomas Hassler. The tournament seems to have been designed for him. And they can just look, those line of Swedish players, in sheer puzzlement. And there wasn't anything that any of them could do about it. Hessler, the running continued to come from the Germans and Riedler, it was simplicity itself. A post-mortem goes on in Sweden's defence, but Karl Heinz Riedler has cashed in there on some poor marking. Hessler, of course, involved, slipping it through to Sammer, and Björklund went across, Riedler was all on his own. Thank you very much. Sweden nil, Germany two. Is that calm piece of finishing by Karl Heinz Riedler? The moment that will take Germany to Gothenburg next Friday. And one should forget that in assessing Germany's. Improvement now. Ingerson. It's a driving run. And he's pointed for a penalty against Helmer. Germany can't believe it. They feel that Helmer played the ball. And that would suggest that he did just get a touch first before Ingerson went down. It's a decision that could yet turn the game. Well, it was very close, and Tullio Lanese, who was moving up onto the scene quickly, had no doubts. Thomas Brolin looks Bodo Ilner in the eye, addresses the ball, and scores! Swin one, Germany two. At a moment when his nerve was strained to the limit, Brolin kept cool and comprehensively beat Bodo Ilfner to put Sweden back in the match. He scores for the third time in the tournament, for the third game in a row, in fact.
two minutes to go and Germany still staying calm still staying in control Helmer oh it's a marvelous pass for Riedler that's it they have put Sweden back in their place and Dahl who was getting ready to come on may well sit down again Thomas Helmer, who felt he was hard done by it in giving away the penalty, produced a pass of such penetration there. And Riedler gathers in his second goal of the game, the third for Germany. And in truth, we have a scoreline now in keeping with the balance of the match. Sweden one, Germany three. Kenneth Anderson has out-jumped Eldner, and it isn't over yet. 3-2, Sweden reply within seconds. It was nothing more than a hopeful ball forward, and it should have been the goalkeepers, but it wasn't. Anderson was the more decisive, it was Ingerson who hoisted it, out came Eldner, up went Kenny Anderson, and Sweden, who can measure the time left in seconds, are still just about within reach of a revival. Dole now does come on for Klinsmann. Eriksson. Played behind Bremer by Brolin. Bremer hoists it high, but it's still in play. Gerklund. Jung. Headed on by Ingerson. And it goes back from Bremer. And Germany do go to Gothenburg for the 1992 European Championship final. Sweden's fairy story has a sad ending here in the Rosunda Stadium. In truth, Germany in control for much of the match, leading at half-time through another terrific Hessler free kick. And Karl-Heinz Riedler cementing that position early in the second half. The Thomas Brolin penalty gave Sweden some hope. Then Riedler again from a fabulous pass by Helmer, only for Kenneth Anderson to make it 3-2 within seconds of the restart. But Germany, at the crucial stages of major competitions, are such a tough side, far from their best in the group games, but with such great knowledge of what was needed here to draw the sting out of Sweden. But it's Bertie Boats and his players who are the winners tonight. And the German challenge is gathering momentum now. Sweden 2. Germany 3.